Good morning, boys and girls. Today is the Wednesday of Holy Week, which means that tomorrow and Friday, we will be observing Holy Thursday and Good Friday. And we won't be meeting here for a couple of days in order to celebrate that holiday. Boys and girls, let's start with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Boys and girls, we talked about Easter, and I want to remind you that on Easter Sunday morning, after Jesus had been killed on the cross on Friday, his friends went to see his grave, the place where he had been buried, and they found it empty because Jesus had risen from the dead. Jesus has been consistent and the same for always, boys and girls. I'd like you to always remember that no matter what, even though we can't go to school right now, even though we're stuck at home a lot, even though we might not be able to do the things we want to do right now, God is always there with us, just the same way as he is any other time. So boys and girls, I'd like to read a special devotional today and share this with you. And the name of this devotional is Tell About Jesus. Everyone likes to listen when Caitlin tells stories. The Bible has told us many stories about Jesus. Jesus made storms go away. Jesus fed thousands of hungry people with only a little bit of food. And Jesus made blind people be able to see. Do you remember some of the other stories we've learned about Jesus? Don't keep those stories to yourself. Share those with your family and your friends. Boys and girls, here is a prayer for us to say. Please repeat after me. Jesus, the stories about you are great. Please help me share them. I just can't wait. The Bible tells us that we should never be ashamed to tell others about our Lord. That is in the second chapter of second book of Timothy, chapter 1, verse 8. Boys and girls, there's a very favorite verse of mine from Hebrews chapter 13 in the Bible, and it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So even though things are a little different right now to try to keep all of us safe and healthy, remember that Jesus is the same, loving you, caring for you, and watching over you. I hope you'll take some time tomorrow to think about Holy Thursday and remember that the meal on Holy Thursday that Jesus shared with his friends was the very first celebration of Holy Communion. And we echo those words that Jesus said all those years ago. Every time we hear the Mass and the priest blesses the host. Boys and girls, I also want to talk a little bit today about a video that I sent home and some links that I sent home for your mom and dad on Monday. You know that we do our letters in school all the time, and you boys and girls are so close to reading. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of all of you. I sent home a link that will help you practice forming your letters. But I want you to tell your moms and dads, we're just going to work on one letter a day. So for this week, we want you to work on letter A, B, and C. Boys and girls, here is the uppercase letter A. 
and its lowercase baby brother. Are they twins? No, they are not. Now, we are going to work on forming the uppercase letter A. Where do we start when we draw a letter? <laughs> That's right, at the top. To make the uppercase A, we start at the top and go down the ski slope. And you pick your crayon back up and go back up to the top and go down the other side. And then we cross it in the middle. And remember, boys and girls, A says two different sounds. A says A, like apple. And A also says its own name, A, like the word ape or apricot. The other letter we're going to work on this week is the letter B. Boys and girls, this is the uppercase B and this is its lowercase baby sister. Are they twins? No, they are not twins, boys and girls. Remember, we start again with our letter at the top and to form the letter B, we draw a straight line from top to bottom and then pick up your crayon and go back to the top and make a small curve and another small curve. And there is our letter B. Now, we have one more thing I want to talk about with letter B. Letter B makes one sound and it is this, the sound is B. So B says B like the word baby. We have one more letter this week that we're going to do, boys and girls, and that is my magic friend, letter C. This is the uppercase C, and this is the lowercase C. Hey, are they twins? I think they are. Boys and girls, remember, I always tell you guys, the letter C is a thief. It has no sound of its own. It steals one sound from the letter S and one from the letter K. So Magic C, that thief, has two sounds, S and K. K like candy and S like city. Now, to draw the letter C, if I can find my chalk, there it is. We start at the top and we make one large curve. Boys and girls, your mom and dad have links to those pages and I would like for you to practice drawing the uppercase A, the uppercase B, and the uppercase C. Now, I want to wish all of you a very, very happy Easter. I will see you on Monday here at the same time. Know that I'm thinking about you. I hope the Easter Bunny brings some sweet treats to your house. And remember re what we celebrate on Easter is that Jesus Christ rose to save us all. Boys and girls, I miss you so much and I will look forward to seeing you here again on Monday. God bless you.